Hello everybody, welcome back to Yanis Cake Tips. Cake decorating is about having a practical idea can be applied to day-to-day -day business. So one of those practical ideas are making chocolate flowers, which is often happened quite fragile. So I'd like to show you today my way of making chocolate flowers, which is quite reliable and at the end still end up quite delicate. The difference is I'm using eggs as a mold. And also, if the eggs are a little bit cooler, it's better to have it because chocolate get quickly set. So all what I need, a little bit of cling wrap. Just like this. I think I can get four out of this. So, cut this into large square pieces. All right, then what I do, put a little bit of starch inside so the cling wrap doesn't stick to the eggs. When the eggs are cold, it's maybe a little bit wet because of condensation. So dry them nicely, just with the tissue paper, all right? And placing here, and after that, just wrap. That also starch help the cling wrap doesn't stick to the egg, all right? That's all, just do it like this, and then place it in here. That's one. So I'm gonna make 12 of this. So 12 eggs are ready, wrapped in cling wrap. And uh, I'd like to emphasize one more time why I'm using starch. So if I use the direct cling wrap on an egg, because of the coldness and bit of moisture, bit of humidity on the egg, the cling wrap should, will be stick on the egg and then the chocolate will not can release. So look at this. So you see that the cling wrap doesn't stick to the egg surface and then chocolates will be, after setting, just pops off very easily. So next things, I will bring my chocolates on the table. This time, I'm using white chocolate. Of course, you can use dark chocolate or milk chocolate also. Because of the coolness of the egg, the chocolate doesn't need to be too tempered. This is just a compound chocolate and it's about 40 degrees is more than enough, all right? All what we do, take one egg and then squish a little bit more about the cling wrap, just nicely surface, is nice and smooth, and then dip them sort of one third like this. And then you don't have to worry about too much about this because this is good. This will be a kind of string on joining the petals together. And then carefully put it here. Right, that's it. Second one. Now things goes quite quick. I'm choosing the pointed part of the egg, always the tip of the petal, so I'm using always in the same direction. So this is the, this is a pointed part, goes this direction, and I'm lifting up that direction out. So this is not very important, but just a little detail. Twelve petals are already ready, and then first petal what I did should be set already to take it out of the egg. Let's try. 
If the eggs are not cold enough, you can always put them, of course, in the fridge. Release the pressure a little bit from the cling wrap and then just move a little bit like progress like this and it comes off like that. See that? It's already, all right? So let's put it on the side here. Second one. Release the pressure and remove. This is happening because the eggs was cold. It helps the chocolate quickly get set. If the eggs are not cold, you just put them in the fridge. It will come off very easily. Before the petals are joined together, I like to make a couple of leaves so we can finish it at the end together with the leaves. A little bit of water here, as I always do, just to secure that cellophane sheet, all right? Just give it like a one long chocolate here like this. And I have here a scraper, which is serrated scraper here, like this. And then just do that and that. And that and that. All right. Now I need to have something not too sharp. Uh, like the wooden skewer or can be used also a kind of cake pop sticks or something doesn't matter just do this So because it's not sharp the chocolate stay separate when I do this all right All right Now I'm gonna start assembling the flower so I take one paper cup and open up I don't want to have it too close. I want to have a nice, large, open flower. It kind of like, it looks like magnolia, all right? Like this. So then what I do, I take a little bit of chocolate and put it in the middle. All right? Now, look at this. One, two, three, I'm using this part where the vein is here, much more stronger, to the joining part. I think we can put one more in between here, like this. Look, and then before the chocolate gets set, just organize it together like this. And I will put a little bit more chocolate in the middle. Just this much. All right. And then go back again for maybe just the three petals. That's it. That's one. I like to do a more small one and this time I want to keep it very simple one two and three like this let's say as a, as a kind of like close flower not open yet so the chocolate is not crisp enough. We wait for a while, everything gets touchable and we can lift up and make an arrangement. They're all set to go. I just pick up uh, from the fridge. So let's put together, imagine this is a cake surface. So just put a bit of water here, it doesn't sort of fly around. 
if you want to put it together, make sure that it's something on plastic because you can then lift it up. All right. So as you see, that is nice and firm here. Underneath is a bit more, more chocolate accumulated, so this is, it doesn't break very easily. All right. You can also just uh, pipe a bit of branch underneath, so you can build everything on a chocolate branch, which is just freshly piped. So I'm not going to do that. Just going to get some chocolate here, like that, and then stick together here. All right. And then the leaves. As you realize, the flour has been done quite quickly, but preparing these eggs with the cling wrap and, and starch was a bit taking time. So that's why don't use them, these eggs for the baking anymore. Keep them on the side like it is. You can always grab it and use it again and again for the same purpose. So that is my simple chocolate flour using egg as a mold. It's now finished. So thank you so much for watching me again this week, guys. And uh, please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with another one.